So this is homework 5.3, question number 8. Let's see if we can solve this one using step crunch. Um, okay, so we're finding z-scores. Let me make this z-scores that will include this much area in the middle. Notice in this gray picture, um, they have this half as 0.4744 and this other half as 0.4744. They are the same. So I'm getting a calculator open and I'm going to add them together. 0 0.4744. Actually, let's just do it times 2 because they're the same, right? So that much area is included in the middle, okay? So what are the z-score that has that much area included in the middle, okay? Now, you can use the between calculator backward. I have a calculator open. And, you know, you can open it up by doing state, uh, stat calculator and normal, right? Stat calculator and normal. And click on between calculator. Now, z-scores are coming from standard normal table, a standard normal distribution. So mean of 0 is fine, and standard deviation is 1, 2, 3 to the right, 1, 2, 3 to the left. So the default setting um, on stack crunch is just fine. Okay, so keep the mean as 0, standard deviation is 1. Delete these boxes. Okay, but type in like how much area was included in the middle. Remember the area was 0 0.9488, right? So you type that in the other side of the equal sign. And when you hit compute, it's going to give you those z-scores that will have that much area included in the middle. So that's how you can get the number negative 1.9498 and positive 1.9498. Notice this is a perfectly symmetric distribution with zero right at the middle. So the answers will come out exactly the same with just different signs. Okay, so that's how you can get this answer.